What's good, gang? It's your favorite new up-and-coming channel for hip-hop news and content. Hopefully you know by now, but just in case you didn't. Jay, Jay the Kid says that. But Jay the Kid, what's good? What's good, Jay the Kid? Make sure y'all hit that like button when you come in. Jay Kidding in his 508 cents. Yo, much love, bro. What's up, my guy? Me, uh, Jay Kid in his 508 cents. Shout out, Jay Kid. 508 gang, you already know the drug. That's why y'all forever be my gang. Real talk. Everyone else, do your boy a solid real quick. Come be a part of the 508 gang. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Share this video, leave a comment, I definitely like chopping it up with y'all. But yeah, let's get straight to it, gang. Yeah, so your boy J. Kid seen something, and I was like, all right, this is another video, I'm gonna hop back with a banger, you dig? So, I know that this was already surfacing yesterday that the Pop Smoke case had been broken, and they found all, like, the gunmen, and who killed them, this, that, the third. But I ain't hear nothing about nobody, like, knowing the specific details. Like, they had a few details, but now over the last 24 hours, a bunch more details came up. Fair warning, they're gruesome. So when I read them to you, I just want you to know that because it's not sweet. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Like, I want you to understand how dirty they did this man and like how I feel like there might be more to the case. I always had thought that, but now that I read the details, I think that that much more. So basically the thing that stood out to me, they said, he said that when individuals got inside, the suspects confronting Pop Smoke, who was in the shower naked, Camacho testified. I understand they said this was a break-in robbery crew that was just breaking into famous houses, but that seems too convenient to catch him in the shower slipping. And if that's the case, why not just get in and get out? Why are you going to stick around, proceed to get into a fight? Why he's naked and then end up shooting the man. But we're going to read the whole details from the jump. I just wanted to focus in on that one headline right there. More details of the tragic slaying of the late Pop Smoke continue to be revealed during the preliminary hearing for one of his murder suspects trial. As we previously reported, two adults and two juvenile males were arrested in connection to Pop Smoke shooting. And now it's being revealed that the actual gunman was only 15 years old in New York Daily News report. A Los Angeles Police Department detective testified Friday that the teen and his alleged accomplices were after Pop Smoke's diamond-studded Rolex and other jewelry when they allegedly stormed Pop's Airbnb rental in the Hollywood Hills. The investigators testified the suspects were only able to get away with the watch which they later resold for just 2,000 measly ass dollars. We gonna pause right there. And this is why we gonna break it down as we go. I think it's a setup right there because they obviously thought there was more money worth jewelry and in general money. Not realizing Pop Smoke getting gifts, so therefore he not paying for it. He probably just spent all of his money and now he back at the crib chilling. So I feel like someone done tip dudes off like, yo, now would be the time to pop out. It's just me and Pop Smoke. He about to take a shower. Y'all come up. You just got gifts from Amari to start the third. That shit going to be worth at least six figures. Come to find out it's not because at the end of the day, jewelry isn't worth as much as it's sold for ever. You're lucky if you get half your money back, if that. And when it's customized jewelry, it's worth even less when you sell it back. Because all they do is burn it down and take it for the overall gold and diamond. So y'all need to learn on that stuff before you assume that like, oh, if we get this watch, we get 100K. No, it don't work like that. But yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments if you agree with that. On to the next part. So the detective said the teen gunman, who is the youngest of four defendants, slipped up in jail when he allegedly admitted his role in the slaying during a recorded interview with a cellmate at a juvenile detention center last May. I guarantee you he was telling people, oh, someone's snitching on me. Now you get the transcripts right now. He was self-snitching on himself like an idiot. That tend to happen more often than not. We see that all too much. But yeah, back to business. He admitted that he shot the victim three times with a Beretta 9mm. LAPD Detective Carlos Camacho testified Friday at a preliminary hearing for Corey Walker, 20, the sole adult defendant. They got into a fight and he shot him three times. Camacho says, citing the teen's recorded jail interview, he said he shot him on the back. The teen has not been identified due to his age, but Walker has pleaded not guilty in the case even though he also allegedly self-snitched in jail. 
Camacho alleges Walker confessed to his role during a separate, secretly recorded jailhouse interview with a different informant placed in his cell. Walker allegedly admitted the group used ski masks, gloves, and a police scanner to try to evade getting caught. He said that when the individuals got inside, the suspects confronted Pop Smoke, who was in the shower naked, Camacho testified. So we gonna touch real quick on that just cause we opened with that headline. So, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna focus too much. But back to like I said, I wanna know more so how y'all feel about that. Does the whole catching him coming out the shower seem like someone tipped him off? Or you think it was a coincidence and they just got that lucky that they caught him off guard? But on to the next. During his recorded conversation, Walker allegedly told the informant the teen stormed the home and demanded Pop Smoke's jewelry, which he was still wearing and even said thank you when it appeared he was complying. According to Camacho, but things went left when Pop reportedly decided to fight back and rushed the suspects before he was pistol whipped and then shot in the chest. All right, we gonna pause it there and break it down because that's not adding up at all. You're telling me he said, thank you. He's complying with you. He about to give you the chain. But then all suddenly he's just like, all right, you know what? Dude's got a gun on me. I'm naked. I'm outnumbered like three, three to one, maybe four to one, whatever it is. They got me. At that point, I feel like most people with common sense would be like, all right, y'all got the job on me, bro. Here, take this ish. Like, I ain't worth my life, bro. I'm getting money out here. So to me, that's little homie trying to save face to the police so that way he ain't getting charged with murder one. He won't be able to be like, oh, nah. Well, if Pop Smoke didn't fight, we probably wouldn't have shot him. You want to know how I know that's Cap? In this video, Peep Game. He ends up getting chapeled by two of his ops. Smart young Pop Smoke realizes like, all right, I'm outnumbered in this situation. Ain't much I could really do without getting stomped out, whatever may happen. Y'all could say, oh, he ain't had no heart. He come back after all these years, see one of the dudes. Now he bigger, better, got the drop on them like they had the drop on him. And he give them a taste of their own medicine. So you can't even say that he's suckering them like that. So if Pop Smoke's young and smart like that, you gonna tell me now when he's older, more mature and wiser, he gonna be like, yeah, nah, I'm not gonna give up my jewelry. I'd rather die over it. So that way I can seem cool in my afterlife, but not get to enjoy my life. He just started buzzing. He barely got to enjoy his life, bro. I don't see him being that, like, hard-headed and dumb. So that's why that don't add up to me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments if you think that same way or if you think otherwise. Walker's defense lawyer, Christopher Darden, yes, from the OJ trial, made a motion to have Walker's murder charge dismissed, arguing that Walker was only the driver that night. Darden also claimed that Walker even told his accomplices not to shoot anybody. He's clearly not an aider and a better of premeditated murder, Darden argued. At most, he's a principal and a robber. He's a driver. He is outside. But Williams said Walker had scouted the house hours earlier and knew the teens planned to rob Pop Smoke at gunpoint to obtain the ice flash in his Instagram photos earlier that day. They specifically target this house, wanting this victim to be there. Williams said, saying Walker's actions showed a reckless indifference to human life. Once again, if what he's saying is true, then if he's complying, why all suddenly would it go left? You got what you came there for, but you also saying that you wanted them to be there. Why would you want them to be there you know what I mean? If it wasn't an inside job. That's why I'm like, you know what I mean? Dudes tipped him off making it think like, oh, if Pop Smoke's here and y'all catch him when he's slipping, you're going to get more. Versus if you get to the crib and he's not there, you're not going to get that much. Pop Smoke posted that Instagram picture damn near almost the day before. It wasn't like they had got him within an hour or even a couple hours after him posting that picture. On top of that, the other shady thing, Pete, this. Sources familiar with the surveillance video tell TMZ the video shows at least four masked men with hoodies making their way into the house. Just 10 minutes after people inside the house dead bolted the front door shut. We're told they did not turn the house alarm on, which made it easier for the home invaders to get inside. Are you kidding me, bro? That's an inside job if I've ever seen one. That's some girls doing a back door. I used to do that with my homies when we would have a girl set up a dude. No cap. You would tell Shorty, yo, get him nice and lit, loose, have him off his guard, leave the back door open, make sure the alarm ain't on, and we'll take care of the rest. 
And that's exactly what happened. That's what I'm saying why ain't nobody focusing in on these girls. I'm not necessarily saying his people set them up, which I hope they didn't. But somebody there definitely tipped off those guys. So that way they could get in simple and easy. And they thought like, okay, we're going to come up with a lot more than they really did. And I'm telling you, it's an inside job. He got set up. 100% Pop Smoke got set up. All the evidence is pointing to a setup. Same thing here. Basically, law enforcement saying there was a party or a gathering at the house prior to the shooting. And at that point, that's when it's starting to die down. It's just him, like maybe one or two of his boys, and they chilling with some girls. All suddenly, these four dudes get the drop on them when they basically all intoxicated, worn out from partying all night. Trying to like go take a shower and probably cool out for a little bit before they do it again the next day. And that's when they catch Pop Smoke slipping, coming out the shower. And last but not least, to show you that it's basically looking like that, even to the judge and DA, I'm going to read you that last bit. Judge H. Clay Jackie II denied Darren's request to reduce the charges and ruled there was sufficient cause to send Walker to trial. Walker is slated to go back to court June 3rd for rearrangement. You did? So basically the courts are saying, nah, we not buying that. We think there's enough evidence to go to trial for murder. Whether it be murder one, two, or three, they basically not trying to give him that out of saying, oh, it was manslaughter, man one, two, or three, because it was a fight gone wrong. We was never going there with the intention to rob or kill him. It's clear as day that they was going there with the intention to rob. Whether it was to kill him or not, that's beside the point. Now you ended up killing him. So therefore, it's premeditated. You killed someone in the process of a crime. Now you get charged with murder. That's how the law works. Yeah, so that's everything that's going on with the case right now. That's all the information that's public as of Friday because the court case just happened with all the suspects and stuff. Let me know if y'all agree with me. Do you think it was like a setup? How the way stuff played out? The last people to leave didn't turn on the alarm. They made it easier for the people to break in. People forget that Amari picture wasn't posted like an hour or two before the people came in and did all that. That was posted damn near a day before. So I want to know what y'all think. If y'all disagree or think otherwise, let me know in the comments and we can go back and forth and debate why. But yeah, this your boy JK signing off. Stay safe. Peace, y'all.